In this video, we're going to be looking at the error create table permissions denied in database R database. So what we're intentionally trying to do here is to get this to fail. So we see that we have a database user called foo. We've given it the database role of data db data reader. And of course, this is a uh, SQL user. And this user should fail to be able to create a table. And the reason for that is because the create table permission um, is what is required in order to create a table and uh, as well as alter schema permission okay and in azure sql i believe it is the db owner is the one that is able to create a table however that does not mean that temp tables and variable tables cannot be created uh, by a user with db data reader so what we're going to do is we're going to try to create a variable table uh, one temp table which is just the local temp table and then a global temp table and then we're going to try to insert data and select from it and then we're going to try to create another table and we're going to try to uh, create this. And as we see that we get a denial on that last one, we also see that we're successfully able to insert data. We do the cross apply here. So we are able to successfully create the variable table, uh, the local temp table, and then the global temp table. Okay. So when we look at this create per, uh, create table permission, I should say, in, this, uh, in these databases, it should be of note that that does not mean just because we can't create an actual table doesn't mean that we can't create a variable table or a temp table. Okay, so of course, when it comes down to it, uh, when it comes down to like an actual table, the user that is creating the table does require the create table permission in on the database level. So in this case, it would be our database. We would need it to have that create table permission, but it also needs to have the alter permission on the schema in which a table is being created, right? Because if it doesn't have that, it's not going to be able to do that. So one thing to consider is that if, let's say in development, we have a user here that we're using, and I've seen people use these type of tables, like a main table for a temporary table, and then they drop it. Well, if we don't want to give the user the ability to do that, like if we want to keep the user tied down, one of the things that we can do, of course, is we can let the user do uh, use temp tables, right? So that is one advantage. And that's, that's part of the, it's not the only reason, but that's part of the reason why temp tables might be used in some situations is because one of the things about temp tables or even variable tables is that you can still keep that level of security. No, they can't create a, a main table like this, but the fact is they can create um, these other type of tables if they're using it for temporary purposes. So this is just kind of a demo, and it's definitely something that I would recommend experimenting with. But it's one of those things that we, in general, generally speaking, there are some exceptions, but we might not want uh, certain users that are executing processes to have the ability to create tables. If they need it for temporary purposes, that's when we're going to go ahead and we're going to use things like temporary or variable tables.